Hello, my name is Jonathan Forster. I've been principal of Morton Hall for 27 years and I'm retiring at the end of this year. Um, when I took over Morton, I have to say it was not doing well financially. Um, the school's fee income was about two and a half million and the school owed two million. That was a scary time for me as principal. And I had to think very quickly with key governors and staff about how we were going to make the school profitable. And independent schools now are in a difficult position, again, because the government have increased the pension contribution from the employer, i.e. the school, by 40%. So in simple terms, a smallish school like Morton's got to find about 230,000 quid extra next year to ensure that pensions are covered, and larger schools uh, may have to find six, seven, eight hundred thousand pounds extra. That seems a tall order. And then just round the corner, there is the threat uh, of VAT being imposed on school fees as well. That would mean that there'd be 20% added to school fees. Um, many people say that uh, schools would not survive, independent schools, private schools would not survive the imposition of VAT on school fees. Of course, the really big famous schools would. Um, they're very elitist places, they're places that most of us would not gain entry to. Uh, and I think it's the smaller independent schools um, that serve the needs of a local community that would be most under threat. So how are they going to get themselves out of those uh, financial problems? How are they going to future-proof so it isn't going to come as a terrible shock uh, when VAT is imposed on school fees? How are they going to make sure that their school is profitable? Well, I think the first thing is that you look at your school as a business. You look at it as a giant hotel, if you like. And I, I, here at Morton, we never close. Christmas Day Boxing, though, that's it. The rest of the time, we're open. So we're running courses all the time to people from all over the world. And that brings in quite a lot of money uh, and it ensures that we are able to continue to develop the school. With that income, we can then, for example, build a new theatre. That theatre is for the use of the local community. But it's also going to have a commercial um, aspect to it. And, and if we're able to generate 100, 150,000 pounds a year from that theatre, which seems likely from our research, then I think uh, that would go a long way to mitigating some of these increases. So those are a couple of ideas, uh, and I think those ideas are ideas that other schools have already woken up to, but I think need to now go into top gear to achieve their, their targets. Of course you can look at reducing staffing and those kind of issues, go too far down that route, and of course the difference between an independent school and a state school disappears because your class sizes would increase. And once the class sizes increase, then it makes it much harder for the teachers to deliver the quality education that is the hallmark of the best private schools.